ban all ships. Furious British port workers refuse to unload vessels with Russian gas. Furious port workers have declared that they will not unload the cargo of shipments carrying Russian gas and oil to the UK. A letter was sent from Transport Secretary Grant Shapps last week asking UK ports to not allow access to any Russian flagged, registered, owned, controlled, chartered or operated vessels. The British government announced on Tuesday the total ban on Russian cargo ships from UK ports as part of the package of sanctions implemented on Russia. The Transport Secretary announced on Tuesday that he was at London's Foreign Office where we've just become the first nation to pass a law involving a total ban of all ships with ANY Russian connection whatsoever from entering British ports. The Secretary encouraged people to spread the message to urge fellow leaders to do the same. In his letter to the UK ports, Mr Shapps stated, The maritime sector is fundamental to international trade and we must play our part in restricting Russia's economic interests and holding the Russian government to account. Approximately 180 members of the trade union Unison have announced that they don't want to touch the cargo given the tragedy unfolding in Ukraine. Matt Lay from the union said, These staff are determined to show their support for the Ukrainian people and uphold the sanctions imposed against Russia. The union announced that the two tankers due to dock on Sunday are the Fedor Litki and the Boris Vilkiski and carry enough gas to supply the UK for 12 days. The vessels are owned by Dynagas, a Greek firm, though the owner was not disclosed. The Boris Vilkitsky is managed by Russian company, Yarmul LNGOAO. Mr. Lay urged the transport secretary to send these two ships packing. He continued, he needs to make it clear that all Russian ships are banned from every UK port and terminal. The spokesman for the union criticized the speed at which the sanctions passed saying, the law passed speedily on Tuesday should have made the Boris Vilkitsky and Fedor Litki turn back. But both vessels still seem to be very much Kent-bound. A source revealed to The Guardian that at least one of the ships is carrying LNG, liquid natural gas, purchased by British gas owner Centrica. Centrica declared earlier this week that they would cut off supply from Gazprom, state-owned Russian Energy Corporation and are holding talks with the government on how to address shipments already dispatched.